And now we can have a look at something a bit more fun using the for loop, importing the graphics module. So now let's first import graphics and now we can make a graphics window such that window is equal to graphics importing the module dot graph win from inside the module and it takes a string being the window name so we'll call it awesome because we are and two more parameters being the window size I like to default at 500 by 500 so now we've got the window size at 500 by 500 but we remember that the y axis starts off from 0 at the top and 500 would be down the bottom so in this case we have to remember that we want to invert the y axis if we want it to look normal to us so now let's make a for loop so we can iterate along the x axis so we can make x so for x in a range from 0 to 501 because we want to include the maximum value so we want exactly 500 values by doing this we can get 500 values and iterate along the whole screen getting one value at a time. And so now using this we can put it through an equation so that y is now equal to and remembering that the window needs to be inverted and it's 500 big let's invert it so it's 500 take and then we can take the value and just for fun let's do x to the power of 2 plus 50. And now each time <coughs> And now what we're going to do is every time we iterate over this range along this x axis we need to create a point and draw it for this x value. So we can make point, this could be the temporary point value equal to graphics dot point and this has the x and y value of x and y conveniently. And now simply by drawing this point by going point dot draw using the draw function we can draw this point over this range now this draw value does take one parameter so it knows where it is drawing and that is to the graphics window so we simply input win being the graphics window into the draw function so now pushing F5 to run and save make sure this file is saved with the graphics module so we can save it now pushing yes to run and if we look at this, we can see we've got a parabola. Now let's get a better visualization of this um, graphics module. Such that we'll make it simply x plus 50. Pushing F5, save and run. And now we get a nice linear equation. Such that it's 50 off the bottom. So y is equal to 50 when x is equal to 0. Nice and linearly. We can change this. So it increases in speed, making it times. So there we go. And again, we can do quadratic equations. It's just we want to change the scale then. So we can change the scale such that we can make the x value divided by 50. F5, save and run. There we go. Maybe 25 would be more appropriate. Or 20. Let's see how that goes. There we go. Nice quadratic equation being 50 off from the bottom and going up as x to the power of 2 plus 50. This divided by 20 simply affects the scale.